Kayaking is such a great sport and you can even enjoy this activity if you don't have a kayak because you can easily rent kayaks. But renting a kayak isn't as simple as you may think. So I'll share with you five tips for renting a kayak to make it more enjoyable and for you to create memorable experiences. Tip number one, find a reputable rental kayak store. Not all kayak rental shops are the same. I'd like to say most are responsible and provide you with kayaks and equipments that are reliable. Unfortunately, there are some bad eggs out there who just want to make a quick buck. Good rental kayak stores will share their experiences and make sure your kayaking adventures are pleasant. They should be asking you questions about your paddling experience and providing information that is suited for your level. So it's important to do some homework and check the reviews as these are a great source to see how responsible they are and to see how much credibility they have. If you had a bad experience before with a kayak rental store, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to see what the issues were. Tip number two, check the kayak for leaks and also check the other equipments are in full working order. Even though you go with a reputable rental store, it doesn't mean you shouldn't check your kayak and equipment. Each kayak rental store has a whole fleet of kayaks and also paddles and life vests, so it can be difficult for them to check every single piece of equipment. That is why you need to do a self-check first before going on your adventures. Check the hull to see if there's any visible cracks or holes and spend at least about five to 10 minutes right by the shore to check if there are any leaks. You don't want to ruin your trip by sinking or having to return to the kayak shop within the first 30 minutes. Also check that your PFD is fitted correctly and also have a look at the paddle to see if it's okay. Tip number three, ask the kayak rental store on local information. It's always great to ask the kayak rental store on their advice on where to go as they have the knowledge of the whole area. They know the surrounding areas the best and if you ask nicely, they will even share those secret spots that not many people visit. Another reason to speak with the kayak rental store is that they can advise you on which areas to avoid during certain times of the day. They can also recommend spots by understanding your level of experience too. For example, when I was in Sydney, the rental shop told us the situation of the current in the afternoon, so we knew what to expect on our return trip back and made sure we saved our energy to face the incoming current on our return trip. Tip number four, know the skill level of everyone who is kayaking. If you're going kayaking with a group of people, try to understand the skill level of each participant. This will let you know where you can go and how you can plan your trip. There is no reason why anyone should have the need to prove their skills in areas that are too advanced for them. Taking others into a difficult situation ruins the trip for them and will have a negative association with kayaking. Safety is always number one and the trip should accommodate the least skilled paddler. Again, this is related to point number four where you should ask the kayak rental store for local tips and where to go to have an enjoyable trip. Tip number five, bring lots of water and a first aid kit. I think people don't really realize how physically exerting kayaking is, and especially when you're fully exposed to the direct sunlight, so you need to make sure you bring lots of water to keep you hydrated. Bring more than what you think you'll need, and you won't regret it. Also bring a small first aid kit to prepare for some cuts just in case. There have been so many times where I've scraped my ankles on rocks and oysters, which are not visible when you're walking in the water. You may also get blisters on your hand if you're not a frequent paddler, so having a band-aid will certainly help. I'm sure there are others you want to add to this list, so do us a favor and leave your tips in the comments below to share with everyone else who's thinking about renting a kayak. Thanks so much and catch you guys next time.